my god, I'm... It's working! What? I mean, oh. <laughs> I contoured my nose with Oreos. So I'm gonna try it because I never tried it before. I am back with another video and this is going to be the Oreo makeup challenge or Oreo makeup tutorial whatever you choose to call it and these are my final results so if you guys want to see what I did and how I got this look then please stay tuned and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram snapchat Facebook and Twitter and let's get right into the video so we all know there's like three different types of Oreos unless like you're talking of, unless we're gonna talk about the limited edition but I think those even have like the the cookies are actually just like regular chocolate or like vanilla or whatever I don't know but I'm gonna show you which ones I crushed up to get me through this challenge slash tutorial whatever you want to call it um, everybody knows the regular Oreos except for these are double stuffed I love these um, of course, I use the golden Oreos to get that like yellow or white powder thing. And then lastly, I got the red velvet. I actually have them like crushed up right here. So here's the golden, the regular Oreos, and the red velvet. So I did crush all these up as best I can. This is like the best that it can get to. Like it can get finer than this. And then I also might be using this thing that I saw in my local Rite Aid actually. It's a chocolate candy bar, but and it's new and it's by Oreo. So I might use the chocolate from this to help me do something. I don't know, but I thought since it's all in an Oreo family that I can use it in this video. So I already have my foundation, but anyways, the foundation overall is light coverage. Everything else is light coverage. I just wanted a nice base because obviously the powder from the cookies are not that fine, so I'm not gonna get like a powder foundation out of it. And I'm also not gonna get any kind of cream or anything um, for foundation from it, but I'm gonna try to do everything else with the Oreo products. So I'm thinking I'm gonna start off with the regular chocolate um, Oreo cookie powder and I'm gonna use that to fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows are not filled in. Nothing else is like, I have no other type of makeup on. I didn't even powder or set my concealer face because I wanted to do everything else with the Oreos. So I'm gonna try to fill in my eyebrows with this. I'll be right back, I need to grab my mirror. Okay, so I just went ahead and grabbed my mirror and my beauty blender, which I don't think I'm going to even be using, but just in case, it's good to be prepared. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to grab my, but anyways, I'm going to grab my, my eyebrow brush. Okay, so here I have my eyebrow brush. You guys know this is from Crave Naturals. This is the brush that I've used with my pomade in the past. So I'm going to take the spoolie end and just brush out my eyebrows. I'm going to take a little bit of the chocolate cookie powder in my hand like this. And I also have a glass of water here to help me do something. I actually just want to take it in my hand because I feel like I'm going to be doing a lot of mixing and I just feel like it's the best option. So I just put like a tad bit of water and I'm going to see if this creates any type of pomade kind of thing for my eyebrows. Let's see guys. So I think I've got like a light brown pomade guys. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Let's see how I fill in my eyebrows. Oh my god, I'm, it's working! What? It's over. An Oreo pomade, like it's made from Oreos. Oh my, it's actually filling in my eyebrows. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It is getting a little bit sticky, but duh, this is freaking sugar. You guys see that, right? I'm not freaking lying when I'm telling you that it's working. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly do the other eyebrow. So I'm gonna try to bronze up my face. Oh, 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 okay. So <laughs> I dipped my brush in and then I dusted it off and all of it just fell off actually. I mean, oh. 
Okay, I don't think this is working. Yeah, I don't think this is working. Okay, so because it's not working, I'm gonna do what I initially thought what I had to do is do it with like cream, make it like a cream bronzer or something like that. So I'm gonna take the chocolate cookie powder again on my hand and put some water and I might just, that's a lot of water. And I'm thinking that I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers instead of a brush. All right, so this is what we're working with. It might be a little bit too dark for me anyway. This literally looks like poop all over my face. This is my Oreo contour, guys. And now I'm just gonna blend all of this in with my fingers, duh. All right, so I'm gonna start with my nose. I'm kind of patting, using a patting motion. I think that's what's gonna work best with these Oreos. Okay, that gave me a natural contour. Okay, Oreo. <laughs> I contoured my nose with Oreos but we gonna make it work you see that you see that it's blending out mm -hmm. but the only bad thing that i'm seeing right now is that it's making my face look muddy and a little bit of patchy a little bit of patchy a little bit patchy wow look at my fingers so now i'm gonna go back in with my brush and i'm gonna try to set this with some oreo powder Face smells so good. I want to lick it. Honestly, though, as patchy as my face is looking and all of that stuff, it still really did bronze up my skin here. So now I'm gonna take my blush, and that's gonna be the red velvet. And I only took a little bit of that on my hand, and I'm gonna take some water. All right, and I'm gonna mix that into a nice paste as well. Yes, color. Yes, pigment. Yes, pigment. Yes. Okay, so I found the technique, guys. You pat the wet, like your wet finger, right? With the one with the most product. You pat it on there, right? And then you take a drier finger and you pat that. And it'll pick up the excess Oreo and leave you with nice pigment. Look at that blush. So for eyeshadow, and um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the golden Oreo powder, you know, to make it pasty, make like a cream eyeshadow, if you will. This looks disgusting, actually. It doesn't really have a lot of pigment to it, so I'm gonna add some of the chocolate powder. This is a nice brown. I think I'm gonna just use one shadow all over my lids. All right, so this is a shadow I'm working on. So the crumbs are kind of making it look like a cut crease look. Of course, I'm not able to make a sort of mascara from this, so I'm just gonna use my Galani mascara really quickly to kind of show some more life to my eyes. Okay, so as you guys see, I add a little bit of mascara. I made a boo-boo over here, so I'm gonna wait till that dries so that I can clean that up. Um, my bronzer could use a little bit of work, but I think I could leave that alone. This is, you know, this is a natural, it's, it's, it's perfect for summer, so. Right now, all I have is a lip balm, but I'm gonna take some of the Red Velvet Cookie Powder. All right, so here's my pigment. I'm gonna add that on top of my lip balm. Yes, okay. I'm gonna take this little powder brush and I'm just gonna dust off the excess crumbs off my lid so I can leave a little bit more pigment. Okay guys, so I almost forgot that I didn't use this thing, the chocolate candy bar. First of all, I'm gonna try it because I never tried it before. Oh my god. So I'm gonna see how this works as a, a little bit more of a bronze. I think that works nicely. So I'm gonna put some more on this cheek. Yes, yes. And I'm gonna take the rest and put some on my, sh on my lid. Okay, and I think this looks a lot better. It looks more chocolatey, which is what you want from 
Oreo makeup, right? That's what you would expect. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you guys want to try this, then please don't forget to hashtag Oreo Makeup Challenge and also hashtag Kissed by Ken so I can take a look on Instagram or Twitter or even on YouTube here. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys do try it, come back to this video, comment Kendra, go look at my video and I will come look at it because I am so interested to see how other people get creative with this kind of challenge. Makeup and Oreos, put them together. I'm happy. So let me know in the comments down below what do you think and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook and Twitter and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!